Hello everyone, my name is Master Sturman and welcome back for more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we got here to Meteor Falls, which is like the coolest damn place in the game. Like, really, this place is just... Ugh, it's awesome. And it has some awesome Pokemon in here, like Solrock. Solrock's kind of a, like interesting Pokemon, I guess. I wouldn't really recommend one for, for a team, even though it is bulky as crap. Okay, anyways. Music here is really cool too, and oh Jesus, this doesn't look good. Hehehe, <laughs> but this meteorite, that thing about chimney will. Eh, I don't know who you are, but if you got in the way of Team Magma, I don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can change the world. Oh, um, so, wrong voice. Ha ha ha! Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. It doesn't matter. We've got the meteorites, so off to that chimney you go. <sighs> They're saying you're there, Team Aqua. I, who, I couldn't tell who was talking through most of that conversation, so I was doing like Archie's voice wrong before. Didn't I see you before at Slayport Museum? Ah, so your name is Zack. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hmm, you're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage total destruction, claiming to exp in the land masses. They're rivals to us, the sea loving Team Aqua. Boss, you should give them chase Team Magma. Yes, we must. You should hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do on Mount Chimney. Zack, you should keep your eye out for Team Magma, too. Farewell. I'm Cosmo. I'm Professor. Team Magma asked me to help you out to guide them in Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteor right away, and then another similar brunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I didn't understand any of it, but Team Magma, what are they going to do with the meteor right at Mount Chimney? Sounds like something we need to go and check out. And there's another item up here. Moonstone. So if you're, for some reason, using a skitty, you can now evolve it. Or, um, I don't know what else evolves with the Moonstone, really. Speaking of evolution, we have a team member who's really close to evolu um, her evolution. Actually, there's some trainers on this room. Maybe that... Maybe it might be enough to trigger evolution time here. I'm not sure, but we'll see. You never know. Anyway, so we need to make our way back to Mount Chimney, which is located just outside where the fiery tunnel was, where I began the video off two videos ago. Um. So yeah, I'm going to meet you guys sort of back there in a few minutes anyway. Just a little bit. I just want to do some quick battling on this area here really quickly. Which I guess I could just, like, cut out most of some of these battles here, so... Yeah, sure, I'll give you a rematch sometime. Nob! Nob! That's his name? Oh my god. I feel bad for that poor guy. That must be, like, the most insulting name to have. And uh, I wouldn't mind going back to Mauville City, which actually I do need to pass by through Mauville, never mind. Um, because I want to switch for the, uh, Acrobike. Anyways, um, BRB. What? Kenneth- er, uh, Zen is evolving. Kenneth already did evolve once. Here we go! Our very own Electrike. That was an epic roar! His, your Zen evolved into Main Nectric. Uh, I'm sure you saw Main Nectric's power in, um... The battle against Watson, um, its speed you definitely would have seen. And now, we have our very own Manectric on our own team. Definitely really fast, um, not, not close, not really close to Ninjask's speed, but it definitely has, um, some better, some other better stats than Ninjask does. Noble for having the lowest attacking stats is definitely strong for, 
having its lo having the lowest attacking stats. Then again, it's the only team member we have that's unevolved. Once he evol once she evolves, oh my god, I don't even want to. Dr I'm dreading how powerful she's gonna become at that point. That won't be for a while though. Like that probably won't be for a few gym battles. Like still. Speaking of which, we should be getting to the gym by the end of this video, and we'll probably be ready to f battle it next time. Anyways, this should take us to Rustboro. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back hopping in the office. Hopping up some steps, hopping up some steps. Hopping, hopping, hopping up some steps. Uh, Freaking love this item. I think you can do a, uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can do, like, sideways hops, too. Anyways, now that the Team Magma goons are gone, let's head to the top of the chimney. Everyone... Uh, okay, actually, this brings me up a good point to talk about. This scene here looks really cool. Um, for a 16-bit game, the monorail scene. Everybody's always obsessed with the new... The remakes of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which were announced. And... I really don't understand what the hype is. They're really more or less going to be remakes with some some updated mechanics. Gen 3 is not really even that dated of a game. It really isn't. I can still enjoy these games, like, for what they are. I really like Pokemon Emerald a lot. Lots of Poochiana here. Ooh, a double battle here. Um, let's see what I got. Um, sure, actually, let's go with the standard combo that I've always been going with. I really don't think Gen 3 is that dated of a game. I, like, Gen... Dated of games. They have some one outdated mechanic, the physical special split. But, really, that... I, I still... There's nothing really about these games that really makes me think they're outdated at all. I think these games are really, really well done. And I think they've definitely held up a lot. That actually is doing a lot of damage. Thank you. Alright, please send something good in to get magnitude in a sec. Eight. That number is gone. Okay, oh, phew. I was like, wait, what the hell happened? But yeah, the not affecting ingest thing. That makes sense. I'm, I'm really enjoying this the way the session's going. I felt like last session, I was like cutting out a lot of battles. And it just wasn't really that good. I don't know. This session I find is going a lot better. I love the music for the Team Magma and Aqua Battles, too, as always. Also, now apparently the big news is oh my god, the Team Magma and Aqua Bosses have a Mega Ring. I bet you can see Mega Evolutions of these things. They have a Mega. Like. Who cares if they have a Mega or not? It doesn't really matter too much. Mega Evolution isn't the series, like, most exciting thing in the world, and people treat it as if it is, and that's big news. It's like, the internet really needs to calm the hell down, is what it needs to do. It really does. Um, I would use Zen, but, eh. I don't know. Ninjask is my lowest level, so I'll use him. Plus, it's a Poochie, and I have a super effective move on this thing. That somehow didn't KO. I know I know it's a weak as hell attack, but I figured again with five levels higher and Ninjas having some decent attack stat and everything that that might have actually done something. But no, I guess not. No more. I'm actually just gonna stay in. It's gonna. This attack's gonna be really powerful by this point. Yeah, that actually that wasn't that powerful. As powerful as I was expecting it to be anyway. Doesn't mean it's not still gonna double next turn. Or not miss. Crap. Wait, what? What? Why did you just use magnitude? Do you not have, like, do you not have, like, Ember or something? 
that would have what what why is it doing magnitude oh my god why are you using that that's like the weakest you can't do any damage again really again with the magnitude well all I can say to you is bye you go I'm actually surprised at plus three it only does half damage that actually kind of surprises me a little bit that just goes to show the power of Ninjask right there when you when starting to get good. And that was the admin Tabitha. I kind of forgot to mention Tabitha like as a guy there. And oh god, do I really want to do? I'm not, I'm not gonna do the whole like maxi voice from the anime again like Chucker Conroy and them did. Okay then, let's go maxi. Let's go maxi. Power combined in this meteorite by amplifying its power with this machine. Now Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater ring. Mm, who are you? Heard Archie bemoaning a child meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you, he meant. Hmm, so you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen long ago. Living things used to live on the land and grow. That's why land is all important, it's the cradle of all that's inside. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the land masses. It is for further advancement of the human kind of Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps in this mound. Oh, there is no need for you to learn that much. But no matter what, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling into our grand design. Here we go. Magma Leader Maxi with his badass battle theme. Oh my god, this is just one of the most badass themes ever. Leads off with a level 24 of all former Doge, Mighty Anna. The whole the whole thing with Doge is actually a um uh inside joke with um one of my friends. He named his uh Poochiana Doge for reasons unknown really, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, Santa, let's just go set up a few sword stances, and I'm going to start with a, um, a Fury attack. Hopefully I can take this thing out in one shot, because that's not going to be... Um... Ugh, crap. Wait, oh, damn you! Oh, damn you! I do not want that to do that. Of course it would have done that. Why wouldn't it have... Okay, I just want to ask, how the hell can you dodge an earthquake? This thing's gonna hurt like hell, but... Alright. Got the first magnitude off. It's not gonna do anything. I want to get Fury Cutter up, so that way I can, like, actually start, like, sweeping this guy. Okay, that didn't do crap for damage the first hit. That got a critical hit that really shouldn't have happened. Someone's messaging me on Skype, but I don't know what. Oh, okay. I know what it is now. It's nothing that major. Alright. Whew. Let's go Zen. Wow, oh, Super Potion didn't heal it to full HP either, which is a good thing, I guess. Yeah, your dog Pokemon isn't really nearly as strong as mine. So take that, Mighty Anna. What's he gonna send out next? Zubat or... Zubat for some reason, I don't even know. Alright, let's just go for the Spark here. That thing is toast right off the bat, there's no chance it can survive that. And his last Pokemon, his ace, his big bad Camerupt. I am going with an under-evolved matchup here. Because I'm feeling confident about this one. Nummel, it's time for you to meet your, your future of all form. Oh boy. 
I'm a higher level than it, which is a good thing. And I'm, a, I'm faster than it, too, which is also really good. It's definitely gonna use ma have magnitude and use it. Oh my god, a critical hit! Double, you are amazing! Oh my god! I can't believe you just got a crit on ki Oh my god! Maxi would be pissed at that! That just goes to show Nummel's power right there, oh my god! Uh, but enough of this. I will back off this time. But don't think this is the last you've seen a Team Magma. <laughs> Even with the meteorite, if we obtain the orb. Zack, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Zack, we shall meet again. Sure thing, Archie. Seems like it. I'll buy your comic next time I go to Walmart or something. I don't know. Anyways, now that Mount Chimney's freed up, there is a lady down here who actually sells us a really nice item. She sells us lava cookies, which are really nice items. For two, they're basically full heals for 200 Poké Dollars. So if you want some good healing items, I definitely recommend those. I don't think I'm healed up from the last battle. No, I'm not. Which means I don't have Ninjask, but that shouldn't be too, too much of a problem anyway. Now Chimney's Jagged Pass. Now this is what I've always wanted in a mountain. The Jagged Bumpiness. It rocks my soul. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a pretty uneventful battle there, so I just decided to cut most of it out. I think this grass here also counts for the, uh, the suit sack. You can find Spoink here in the wild, which is a really weird Pokemon. Very bulky psychic type, but I don't know, it's just... Wh what? Okay, be right back. Okay, I love that as soon as I say be right back, it lets me run away from that. Anyways, you can hop down this stuff here if you have the, um, Acrobike, but, oh well. Oh, oh my god. And there's a Team Magma Grunt here. This is going to be kind of tricky to deal with, I think. Eh, actually, I don't think so. I think I remember this guy being easy. What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business of it is yours? Yeah, Team Magma Grunt. Seven. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. 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 Oh, uh, I didn't realize what the matchup was. I thought it said Mighty Anna. Oh well, let's just go with this. You know, I'd get screwed by magnitude. I'm just gonna keep it up, I guess. I don't really know why. Really? You used tackle on me there? Static hello, thank you. Actually, I'll put Kenneth up in front. I'll just play Urban. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Oh, great. I was just thinking, like, what if there was some Pokemon that Kenneth would, like... Or, um... Uh, I guess I can deal with this. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh, God, this is gonna hurt a little bit. I'll be right back.
Anyways, let's just go on. I think this is the final battle before we get to Lava Ridge Town, which I don't mind at all. I really don't. I guess I'll just always, uh, like, everyone attack the Shrumish for some reason, I don't know why. That Sonic Boom's gonna hurt a little bit, but I'll deal with that in a different way. Oh god. Um. Yeah, take care of you as soon as possible. Um. Here, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Super Potion. Numble. Ember. Wait, why would you attack Zen with Thundershock? If that, if, if, um, I'm glad Zen has static, but if he had Lightning Rod for his ability, that would just be a totally stupid move. I almost said if Zack has Lightning Rod for a sec, I'm like, I am not a Pokemon, so. Oh, ah. Click outside the window again. Um, okay, that was really weird. The game, like, kind of glitched for a sec. I don't know what that was about. Uh, I don't really want to battle someone else. Oh, and I'm not going to. Anyways, let's go to Lava Ridge Town, which... If you know what's a Pokemon, it's, I, I'm going to end off the video here. We've been doing this way too long. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll be battling the Lava Ridge Town Gym Leader. We'll see you guys for that next time. Peace out.